Today we will be discussing a serious topic, a disease we know we have and we have been ignoring all the time. I just want to make you aware of the things you think you know but you don't. I want to make you realize how deep the internet has affected our lives and individuality and it is pretty serious to think about. Hey everyone, I am Kamran and welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to like share the video. In my high school time, I saw the birth of social media such as Orkut or Facebook and then we are introduced to the internet. These platforms attracted us a lot and we were excited to use it. Though the internet was very costly and not available in small towns, still we somehow managed to have a hand on it. So I will talk about how social media came into the picture and took the lead role in our life. It seems pretty simple that every free time you just take out your phone and have a look, roll a bit through social media and put it back. What if I tell you that you didn't do it by your own wish, but you have been made to do this by someone else? Yes, it's true. Social media and other apps on the internet have seeded deep in your mind that makes you do this. If you don't believe it, I will explain to you exactly who and how you have been controlled. Algorithms are developed by spending lots of money and time by some good brains out there just to keep you more engaged and spend more time on the internet. So why do tech companies use cheap tricks to keep you stuck to the screen? What exact the benefit is? So there is this cycle. The more time you spend on the app, the more you see the ads on the app and the more you see the ads, the more they charge their advertisers. That means they earn more money out of you. And here more means a lot. Andrew Lewis once said, if you are not paying for the product, you are basically the product. So basically your attention is being sold to the advertisers and for your attention the app company tries to read and then control your behavior by UX or UI developed by them. Each part of the app, each button, each form and each and every image placement is done very carefully just to manipulate your thought and you and just to keep you more and more engaged to the app. So you will notice that when you are watching a video on YouTube, the next you video will start playing automatically after a few seconds. That is their one of the strategies to keep you stuck to the app. It is not just by the design, also by the type of content and by your own movement on the app, it is decided what should be shown to you. So what can be done by controlling your thought through these apps? So I will just tell you the list of things which is already been done by accessing your thoughts through these apps. Democratic election taking, putting wrong things in limelight, defaming and lots of other manipulating things. It has affected and changed you every second. It changes how you think, what you do and even who you are. When you see a thing or a fact for like 100 times throughout a day, you start believing it and gradually you start supporting it. Be it a brand, a political party, TV people, ideology or anything. And all these methods of convincing you to believe something is done by a piece of code which runs independently without any human interference. Obviously it is developed by a human but now it doesn't need humans. I guess this is the terminator we should be afraid of. Okay, so this is the general knowledge that social media collects your private data, but you will be surprised to know what extents they collect those data and what they do with it. It's like boomerang. You add your data to social media and come back to you after analysis in the form of manipulation. Actually, social media drains all your movement and makes an exact key clone of your behavior and personality and then keep an eye on that. As time passes, by collecting more and more data, it adds up to your behavior making it more like you. Now they know your pattern, likes, dislikes, even the extent of your feeling for any particular thing. So they can predict your behavior in the given scenario and the worst is they can even control your behavior by showing you the particular thing at a particular time in a particular way. The one biggest example is that social media plays a major role in the democratic elections as well. Political party pay tech giant to read and manipulate their voters. In 2016's election, Trump's Republican party paid almost $1 million per day for Facebook ads. The famous data scam of the Facebook Cambridge Analytical data breach. It was a data leak in early 2018 whereby millions of Facebook users' personal data was harvested into consent by Cambridge Analytica, predominantly to be used by political advertisement. 
इट इज द लार्जेस्ट नोन लीक इन द फेसबुक हिस्ट्री फेसबुक कैम्ब्रिज एनालिटिका ऑल्सो प्लेड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन द ब्रेग्जिट बिटवीन द यू के एंड ई यू फेसबुक हैव एग्रीड टू पे फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूरोज एज अ फाइन टू यू के इन्फॉर्मेशन कमिश्नर ऑफ फॉर इट्स रोल इन कैम्ब्रिज एनालिटिका स्कैंडल सो दिस एक्सटेंड द सोशल मीडिया और इंटरनेट इज इन्फ्लुएंसिंग अवर थॉट एंड आई विल से दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड so we can follow few guidelines to save ourselves from these kind of manipulation so first should we cut them at the source they try to play with your thoughts and you and take command of your thought so whenever you see anything thought provoking inquire about it as the social media is full of fake news there is an mit study that says that fake news spread six times faster than the true news so you can think about it like how many fake news you can across all day so inquire about it and then believe it the second point is the hardest which is almost impossible delete these apps and live in peace this is hard but 100% guaranteed solution that keep away from these fake news or just have some reliable sources where you can get the daily news and trust social media just keep distance fight back You have power to block and report any sources which you find spreading hate or fake news or spreading any propaganda. So you can do that. So you can block the source as well as you can make other awares. I hope this video helped you understand the ugly face of social media slash internet. It's my request that pleases you not to get manipulated by these propagandas or soft social media. Choose peace and happiness. Take care, everyone. See you in the next video.